Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, like I said earlier, I've gathered all the beers out of the closet and the cellar and fridge and got them in the fridge up here. I've had the, uh, this Lambic and some of the others you've seen in the intro forever. I mean, they're 8 to 10 years old and they're not big ABV beers being Lambics. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not, I don't see a date on it anywhere, so I'm not exactly sure what year it is, but I have had them forever, eight to ten years at least. So, uh, uh, from what I could tell, there's no ABV on the bottle. This is a 2.5 percenter. I mean, it's barely stronger than Kool-Aid. So, uh, I'm hoping in a cellar though, and if it hasn't, I'm going to tell you that. If it tastes or smells funky, I'm going to tell you that, but it's a Lambic. So, uh, uh. It is what it is, and if uh, these beers, as I pull these last Lambics out of the fridge, uh, uh, I probably would not buy these beers now, especially being 2.5 percenters. I mean, 2.5 percenter, that's just a little stronger than orange juice, ain't it? So, uh, with that being said, uh, it's 2.5 uh, so we we shall see. Uh, I mean, this is basically like fruit juice. So uh, uh, we shall see. Uh, so as the name suggests, it's a lambic beer enriched with peach juice, and this fruit lambic is a real peach. It's a nice to drink any time of day or on a sunny patio. Personally, I enjoy it with my girlfriend. And a young lambic is a young lambic that is at least one year old, which is thirty percent filtrated fresh peaches will. Mas macerate. I don't know what that means. So, it is what it is. Let's find out. I wasn't going to review these. I just I told you. Well, it does have 7602 on the label here. And I see something else written on it. But I can't decipher it. I mean... I don't know. I don't know, guys. So, like I said, it's probably 8 to 10 years old. I have had it for a long, long, long time, guys. So, I don't know what to expect. Especially being a 2.5 percenter. Very, very low alcohol content. So, but I am told these beers sell her very well. So, and it's got a great big cap on it that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get off of this opener. I didn't get, oh, it's got a cork in it. Oh, I didn't know that. So, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to get something to get this cork out with, guys. So, I'll be back. Well, let's see if this works. Cork is out. I don't see anything written on the cork as far as dating. Hmm. I don't know. It does have a lot of junk in the bottom of the bottle. I'm going to try to pour this without disturbing that. All right, there we go. Nice amber color. 
I did get some of that stuff out of the bottom of the bottle in there, but like I said, hopefully it won't hurt you. Uh, I don't drink a lot of Lambics, uh, so like I said, probably would not purchase this now knowing what I know uh, and with the ABV beers that are usually my go-to beers. So uh, back then, I was drinking anything I could get my hands on, and now uh, not so much. So uh, who knows where we go. Smells like peaches. Smells just like peaches, guys. Uh, like a peach fruit juice. And basically, that's all, that's all I'm getting is peaches. So, let's see what we got. Cheers. Tastes like peach juice. I mean, it's exactly what it tastes like. Zero alcohol on the taste. Of course, only 2.5%. Little bit of tartness to it. Overall, peach. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It tastes like peaches. Like tastes like peach juice. Like you would... Uh, squeeze some peaches or puree some peaches and uh, that's exactly what it tastes like. Does seem like it has cellar. Okay. Don't get any off flavors or taste with a cap on it and then a cork in it. I mean it, I see it's probably virtually impossible for any air to get in it to oxidize it or anything like that but to me, be a very lightweight lawnmower beer, if you will. Uh, you could definitely drink a bunch of these uh, and not get inebriated. I mean, you could drink six of these and you've only drank two beers as far as the alcohol content. So uh, let me sip on it and we'll come back and give it a grade, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Basically, it's like sipping on peach fruit juice. Uh, zero alcohol taste at all. Seems to sell it very, very well. Probably not something that I would purchase now. But uh, if you want to drink something with super low uh, alcohol content uh, and you're into the fruity beers, peach, raspberry, and a lot of other lambics that are made, uh, good choice. Uh, it is. Uh, other than having the ABV on the bottle somewhere in the year, that's the only thing I can say bad about it. Uh, they need to have more information on it than what's on, on there. Maybe they are now, but I've had this one for quite a while, so couldn't find anything on this one. So, final choke. Good pool beer, good beach beer, good lawnmower beer. Something with super low ABV. Does have a very nice, pleasant peach taste to it. So, uh, B plus for me guys, 88 where I'm going to put it because of the lack of information on it. Year, whatever. So, uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 89, pretty close there. And over to Untap, they have 3.58, uh, that's it in their B range. So, uh, decent beer, nothing to write home about. Very crisp, uh, nice and refreshing if you like fruity beers. So, uh, with that being said, if you've had the uh, Lindemann's... Uh, Peach, they're calling it uh, Pesce Lambic, which is peach. Uh, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.